guys, don't panic or panic because North Star Boys, a.k.a. my boys, have just announced a North American tour. What were the chances? Bro, what were the chances? I just got into them, just got into their music, just started respecting them as artists. And now they've announced a tour in North America, baby. I cannot fucking wait. <laughs> I told you. The music gods are always listening to me. <laughs> Tickets go on sale tomorrow, Friday, April 5th. At the time of this recording, it's Thursday, April 4th. So mark that on your calendar. I'm sure you already know. Uh, what am I doing? You already know. <laughs> this is wild. This has happened to me quite often. I start getting into a group, start listening to their music, reacting to them, falling in love, and then next thing you know, oh, tickets go on sale in four days. It's like, oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm dropping shit. That's how excited I am. I'm dropping shit. If they're watching, guys, guys, if you're watching Toronto, yeah, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I know you've been here before. Toronto, guys, the six, T dot. 1T Toronto, please. Thank you. <laughs> the next song and music video we are checking out from NSB today is Panic. This is highly requested. And my plan is to get through all their songs, all their lyric videos, all their B-sides, what have you, and even the new album that's dropping. Do we have a release date yet? Let me know if you know in the comments below. But I plan to get through all their music before seeing them live in concert. If I can, if they're coming to Toronto. I don't know yet, right? We're about to find out in less than 24 hours. But that's my plan, Stan. And hopefully you guys could go along this journey with me. All right, enough babbling for me. Let's get into this panic from North Star Boys. Look how we begin. Look at this beautiful opening shot. It's all warm and sunny. Lots of greenery. And we got, who's this, Ollie? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get into this panic. From North Star Boys. And here we go. And I've been waiting all day to see you pop up my phone. And I don't usually talk to God, but today is not normal. It's up to you. Oh. It's up to you. Tired of his choices. I'm so so I miss your voice. Oh, oh, Reggie's smoking. I'm tired of this place. Don't like any of these voices. I swear I could run away. I'm sitting on the side. I panic out my mind. I feel like I could die. Better run away. Don't Woo! hit against the pavement. Baby, you feel amazing. There's someone here to save me. I'm going inside. Ooh, ooh. Sebastiano! <laughs> Everyone's smoking. I need my smokes. Where are they? Oh, the cops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time's like I gotta work. I'm sitting on the side. I panic out my mind. I feel like I could die. Better run away. Throw my head against the pavement. What the? Uh Is this Santa Monica? I love the acting. Wow. Wow. Trying to get you out of my head. I couldn't go back to trace the mirror. The mirror. The mirror. It's the mirror. It's the mirror. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. Wow, wow. Wow. 
Why? Where is he going? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how we end this music video. Okay, and look how we... Wait, 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 wait! Look how we begin this music video. Wow, 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 wow. wow. I am so... I'm so surprised how minimalistic this sounds. It's, it's another, like, rock-infused pop track. Wow, okay, so... Cold War, Misery, and now Panic. They all kind of belong within the same genre, the same sound, the same universe, maybe even... I love how minimalistic this sounds. Wow. That chorus, it's just so vacant sounding, but it packs a punch at the same time. Okay, we got to go through this again. Does this one uh, have... Oh, we got English subtitles, bro. What I find interesting about this song, and maybe my mind will change once I actually go through the English lyrics here, is that if I were to listen to the song all by itself, without any visuals, no music video... I think I would have imagined something else, something different from what we got because they're in a garage. No, they're having like a house party. Yeah, garage. Yeah, garage house party. I don't think I would have envisioned that. And maybe I will. My mind will change when I read the lyrics. But I know it's so interesting how you can listen to a song and then when you make a music video and the music video can be completely different from what you imagined the song to be. Just feeling it, listening to it. You know, as a kid growing up and even as a teenager, I used to write my own music video treatments for fun some of your favorite artists they don't all release music videos for all their songs right so it's like sometimes your favorite songs never get a music video and you're like ah i want this to be a music video and then i just went off and wrote my own <laughs> i don't know it was fun i've always liked reading and reading yes well reading but i've always loved writing scripts and stories and stuff like that so uh, naturally, it's like, well, why not write a music video, a pretend music video? The subtitles, the lyrics are missing in the first verse of the music video for some reason. So thankfully, the lyrics are here in the description. The first verse goes, and I've been waiting all day to see you pop up on my phone. And I don't usually talk to God, but today is not normal. It's up to you. It's up to you. I thought Oliver said God. I wasn't quite sure, but this confirms it. And I don't usually talk to God. Oh, my God. And I've been waiting all day to see you pop up on my... Have you ever just been so infatuated with somebody in love or in lust with somebody? And it's like you wait and you wait and you want to get that text. You want to get that message. You want to get that notification. And it just never fucking comes. And it's like, God, God, can anybody hear me? Send me a fucking sign. Baby, one more time. <laughs> Interesting little connection here because panic begins with, and I've been waiting all day to see you pop up my phone. In Friends, Ryan sings, I know you've been waiting a while to pull up on a Saturday night. <laughs> they can connect, yeah? Guys, I'm telling you, regardless of when Friends came out, I think that like if we wanted to build some sort of lore, some world building, it all ties back to Friends. And I don't even think anybody has made this connection. I'm making this connection right now, and I'm just making this up. But it can fit if you want it to fit. All right, let's do this again. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I've been waiting all day. It says rated R, bro. And I've been waiting all day to see you pop up my phone. And I don't usually talk to God, but today. So he not finds this ball, and you. then. Interesting. So we have the ball in two different locations. Oh my god, we have the ball in two different locations, but the significance of the ball must mean something else in two different locations because he's looking at it like, huh. Talk to God, but today is not normal. It's up to you. Up to you. I love how he sings that. You. It's up to you. It's up to you. Tired of his choices. Oh, when this starts kicking in, that's where I miss your voice. I'm tired of this place, don't like any of these voices. I swear I could run away. Oh, that, that edit? Look. I swear I could run away. How we hold on the run away. And we have him screaming. Ryan, is this Ryan screaming? 
Ryan scream. <laughs> that was so intentional. I fucking loved it. And it's just such a trick because it's like, I'm just watching this for the first time. I don't know who's actually singing this part. And then it's like, Ryan, ah, and it's like, oh, he's singing this part. Oh, wait, he's not singing this part. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Love the flannel, by the way. Oh, Sebastian. Those eyes. On my heart, I'm tired So am I, am I correct in assuming that they are doing everything they can with the guys, like having fun with each other, drinking, smoking, playing music, being the way they are, the way you are with friends, because they're trying to suppress the pain, the pain, the loneliness, the hurt, the disappointment from this other person they were in love with, in lust with, involved with, <laughs> right? Yeah. I love that photo. I, the, ba, 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 I love this photo. I love that photo. That is crazy, actually, when you think about it. Because look at him. Look at him in the shot before. I get mad. I get so mad when there's something I like so fucking much. So, okay, Sebastian having fun, having fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then look, everyone's passing him by, Kane, Reggie's passing him by, but he kind of breaks the fourth wall because now, you know, instead of having fun with them and smoking and drinking in this moment, he's looking beyond them and looking at us. So this is how he truly feels. This right here is how he truly feels, despite showing us all of this and this. Yes. On my heart, the acting. I'm tired of this place. Don't like any of these voices. I swear I could run away. I'm sitting on the side. I panic out my mind. I feel like I could die. Better run away. I love the emoji. God. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I love that. Now we can find it. Now I'm sipping. I'm sipping what? Oh my god, the shot, the shot, the shot. That, the shot here, the spinning bottle. That is really fucking cool. This could have been spinning like what? On the floor? Because it looks like it's spinning through the fucking air. How do they do that? I'm sipping what? Drunk. Too much. That's a beautiful shot right there. Acting. 
I think this is Santa Monica, no? Here? I feel this is the blue line. Is it not? Yes, I think it is. Okay, funny story about Santa Monica. When I was in Santa Monica, my friend and I, we got off the train and then we had to take the elevator down to get to the ground level to walk to Santa Monica Beach. And <laughs> we got into the elevator. It was just us two. The elevator closed and all we could see on our end from the inside were gunshot holes all throughout the fucking elevator door. And we were like, <laughs> are we safe what the fuck man <laughs> oh my god i still have the photos of it we were like okay maybe we shouldn't be in this elevator <laughs> yes beautiful beautiful Oh my god, that shot. That shot. That shot. Yes, okay, we love the tattoos. We love the throat. But the sun, the sun in the background, that's so beautiful. So when I saw this mirror, trick of the eye, I thought it was like a giant fucking skyscraper of a mirror. Like I had no idea. It was like, you know, human size. It looks fucking gigantic. Oh my god, I just saw an astronaut, bro. Oh, 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 a cowboy? Wait, what the fuck? Who the fuck? An animated character? These are all different versions of him. Now you're lying in someone's bed. Are, wait, maybe not. Oh, see, what a beautiful shot. So cool. Maybe not necessarily him, but maybe all the different guys she's with. Oh, but you know... Whoever this person is, they're dressed almost the same. Red hat. Right. Who is that supposed to be? I'm tell let me move that. Let me who is that supposed to be? The animated character guy. Who's the robot supposed to be? Who is that supposed to maybe there's an inside joke to this that I'm just unaware of? Who's that supposed to be? Who is that supposed to be? There's a chef. There's a sh there's an astronaut. Who is that supposed to be? Whoa. That's scary. That whoa. Whoa, that's that's pretty fucking cool. I wonder what the significance of that is. All the different imagery, different people in the mirror. He's the only one there. He turns around and walks away. Are these all the different versions of him that he's tried to be to you know, not in the literal sense, like I was an astronaut, I was a fucking cowboy or whatever it might be. I was a robot, but maybe like I went through the extremes of being, of changing my persona, my personality, my identity so many different fucking times for you. And look at me, I'm like forced to walk away because you a hoe! Oh my god. <laughs> I, uh, I love that shot. Oh. See, I love. See, right here. Right here. Right here. I feel this. I feel this. Oh my god. The weight. The weight on his shoulders. The shit that's running through his mind. After all the partying is done, we're left here. Sebastian leaves. Why does he leave? What's up with that? Does this lead into something else? Why does he leave? This is such a beautiful shot, though. Oh, my God. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. Once again, once again, I'm blown away. Panic is amazing. It's going on the playlist. I fucking love this song and I fucking love this music video so very much. You know, when I think about it, I changed my mind. In the beginning, I said, I don't think I would have envisioned this as the music video if I just heard this song by itself without any visuals. And now when I think about it, yeah, yeah, you got to have that contrast. It makes perfect sense that they're like, oh, he looks all bloodied. Um, <laughs> that they're having a party. They're having the time of their lives with each other. Really, it's the contrast between that and then this at the end, this. Because this is how they truly feel when the party is over, you know, when the day begins anew. Like, this is how they truly feel. It's the reason why they're partying so hard in the first fucking place right so yeah it makes total fucking sense i'm a very emotional person like i wear my heart on my sleeve and i cannot hide the way i feel for the life of me if i'm pissed off about something people are going to see it etched on my face if i'm sad about something people are going to see it etched on my face if i'm happy and excited people are going to see it etched on my face you know and how do i deal with the stuff that bothers me like when dealing in this particular case they're talking about heartbreak and disappointment so i write a lot i write a lot of poetry and um you know some stuff i will never share with anybody but i write a lot i journal you know i still remember like poems and journal entries i've written years ago that don't even exist anymore because they're gone i threw them out or i burnt the fucking book <laughs> <laughs> working out, working out's another one, you know, going for a run or lifting some weights, uh, music, 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 music. I'm actually right now going through a pretty hard time personally and not to get into any specifics. I wish I could, <laughs> but you know, listening to all the new music I have in the past week and a half, honestly, it's, it's helped me a lot. And listening to North star boys for now, five songs into North Star Boys, you guys don't understand how much this has helped me. Like, they have put me in such a good fucking mood. Like, Oliver here, this is how I feel. This is how I feel listening to their stuff. Like, ugh, so good. <laughs> guys, what did you think of this song? What did you think of this music video? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Answer any and all questions that I had, please. I love learning this stuff. That's why I ask so many questions. I love learning, 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 learning. This is so fucking epic. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending all this time with me as I check out Panic from North Star Boys. Stick around because I will be checking out more of their songs as much as I can, as much as they have. And hopefully I'll get some tickets to see them live in concert, baby. Fingers crossed for me and fingers crossed for you. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll speak again real soon with some more NSB, baby, on the way. Take care, guys. Ha, ha, ha.